From the second largest city in the U.S., Los Angeles, California, we've got football as EA Sports coverage of the NFL is on the air. Today, we've got an intriguing NFC matchup lined up here as it'll be the Arizona Cardinals taking on the Los Angeles Rams. And no run back here on the opening kickoff as we'll start at the 25. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. Now the fourth year man, it's Cam Akers. That's to about the 28, second down coming up. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through, no place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three yard gain. Here's second and seven now from the 28. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. Now they show jet sweep, but instead a run up the middle here. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Throwing on third down, Stafford. That's into the hands of Akers complete. And he is going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, three and out to start the game would have been a real disappointment. So this is a nice job of finding something you think will work and executing it. And they're able to keep this opening drive going. They'll run on first down with Akers. And he'll get it across midfield and down into Cardinal territory. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. From the 47, it's second and five. Stafford now to throw. Got a man open, it's Tyler Higby. And they're gonna have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals 27 yard line. A good pick up there of 20 yards. That early game script that they drew up is working pretty well here on this first drive. Already in field goal range, Charles knocking on the door of the red zone. You know, Brandon, when we met with the coaching staff, they kind of predicted that they would come out firing like this. I think you and I were a little skeptical it would be this easy. But they certainly knew what they were doing in scouting, in preparation, and understanding what their team was capable of. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave them with a second and three. Someone's looking fresh, and this O-line is definitely licking their chops. Everyone likes to run block. If you're an offensive lineman, nice early burst, nice gain, too. Less than a minute to go here in a scoreless first quarter to this point. Now it's Stafford. And that nearly an interception here on this opening drive, but he gets a reprieve. It's third down. It's been a good opening drive offensively thus far, but you know they don't want to waste it and settle for a field goal attempt after that incompletion. So this is a big play coming up here on third down. The eighth play of the drive coming up. It's third and three. They'll try and run for this with Akers. And he will have the first down before he's tackled at the 12. The drive stays alive, a third down gain of eight. Had a chance to maybe limit them to three if they could have gotten that stop there, but a new set of downs. And with a new set of downs, you got to take the mentality of the whole thing. Right now, everyone's looking at the offense and saying they've got the advantage. The best defenses just say, okay, new set of downs. It gives us another chance to make a play ourselves and maybe change things up. And they'll lose yardage here. They go backwards to the 13-yard line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. No score after one on EA Sports. Second and 11. Here's Stafford. 
Well, and that'll be incomplete. Well, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. Well, he certainly didn't like what he saw at all from the coverage on his primary reads. And he didn't even have any luck trying to get back to his safety valve. Give defense a credit. Coverage was in lockdown mode everywhere. This offense, two for two on third downs on this drive. They're in for a tough test here, though. Third and long. Throwing is Stafford. That's out to the flat for Akers. And they're going to drop him well shy of the first as he can only make it to the 11. That's going to bring up fourth down, only a gain of two there. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they've rallied and made the tackle. Kick is good. And the Rams have the first points here. It's 3-0. Well, in a close game like this, obviously you want the touchdown, but certainly they will take the three. And they'll be okay with that. But let's throw a little credit to the defense as well. I'm just glad this doesn't come down to a debate, right? Which side won, partner? Because the defense, hey, we didn't give up a touchdown. The offense, hey, we put three on the board. Either way you look at it, I think both sides gained something out of that drive. kickoff team on the field and here we go with the ball in the air and no run back here for more it's a touchback and it'll come out to the 25 here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over this one a little slow to get cooking just a three nothing score line as they begin with a first and ten Slot man moves right. Now the veteran workhorse. Here's James Conner. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven. Leaves him with a second and three. But no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here. Second and three. Again, a run with Connor. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Seven yards there at a first down. Good pickup by Connor. Such an easy player to root for. And in 2022, he really meant a great deal to the Cardinals offense with almost 800 yards rushing. His veteran presence, invaluable as they went through a bunch of changes on offense. Now McCoy. A uh, short one here, caught by McBride. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. That'll go for a gain of seven, and that'll bring up second down. Here's McCoy. He'll get this complete to Rondale Moore. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams' 34-yard line. A good pick up there of 20 yards. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him, and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. And he'll go right back to Moore, complete again. Give him back-to-back -back catches now. That one for 16, and another first down. Again, he'll drop to throw. 
Over the middle here to Brown. And he's going to be taken down, but there's a penalty flag in the backfield. Is this a hold, or did they rough the quarterback? So a critical mistake, roughing the passer. Now it's first and goal. They'll look to throw again. And he will go down outside of the pocket for a sack. Tried to get away, but could not. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. First down, a bit of a disaster, and now on second and goal, back even further. Looking to throw, McCoy, and it's caught. Touchdown, Cardinals! Zach Pascal from 17 yards out, and the Cardinals will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. That could be an important swing right there, a touchdown in the final minute of the half to take the lead. And I like the point you just made there. Could be an important swing because now that they have the lead, if they can carry that into the locker room at the half, they'll feel really good about what they accomplished in the first two quarters. Prater for the extra point, and that makes it a 7-3 lead. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. And this taken in at the goal line. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. And the Rams going to take over late in this first half. A slim deficit here in a one-possession game. Not much time left, obviously. We'll see if they can march this down the field, at least get three and take some momentum into the locker room. First and 10, Stafford. And he'll just get rid of it. But there's an incompletion, partner, and the struggles through the air continue because so far their lack of passing production has led to a lack of points. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Now Stafford. Connecting with Cup here on the out route. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. The cards going nickel. An extra defensive back out there now on third down. To throw is Stafford. He'll get this into the hands of Van Jefferson. And he's going to come up a few yards short of the first. They get him to the ground at the 37. So on fourth down, on is Ethan Evans to punt for the Rams. And that one hits at the seven, but bounds into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Well, the Cardinals going to get the football one final time here in this first half. And with a 7-3 lead, we'll see how aggressive they want to be. A 
A little over 20 seconds remaining in the half as they'll line up here first and 10. Throwing to start the drive. McCoy. Oh, Pascal able to haul that one in. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. A really good pickup of 28 yards. That's a good start to the ball game. Maybe a little bit of a tone setter offensively. They come out throwing right away, and it's an early completion and a quick first down. On first down, McCoy. This is Ertz on the pitch and catch. The Cardinals forced to burn their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. On second down, Connor looking for space. It's a gain of a couple on what should be the final carry of half number one. So we have reached halftime with the visiting Cardinals out in front. As we'll send you eastward to Orlando, standing by with that EA Sports halftime report now is Jonathan Coachman. Take it away, Coach. The Cards with the lead, and they will get this football first as the second half gets started. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. So here's the Cardinals offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. this they'll try the option left side not much room here as he only gets it to about the 30 give him three on the keeper there and it is second down typically on the read option play when we talk about responsibilities we're talking about what the quarterback has to go through how about the inside linebacker though his job on this play shadow the quarterback and hold him to a short gain did it to perfection From the 30 on second down, McCoy. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Able to make something out of nothing there. 17 yards and a first down. Fast, slow, it doesn't matter. If you give a quarterback enough room to escape, he can hit you for a big gain. You've got to give him a little more focus moving forward. And right side, they're going to go option here. And he's going to take this one across midfield and into Ram territory. Yeah, so they get that one, Charles, on the right tackle. Yeah, oftentimes at that spot, you're trying to work against a defender, trying to set the edge in the running game, and you're trying to drive around and get your body twisted so that he can't get there. Sometimes your hands get too involved. Back to throw, McCoy. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there was not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Looking to throw. McCoy. So just three yards on the completion there. And that'll make it third and 13. He's been quiet today in the passing game, just his second catch. Yeah, and people have to come up with schemes to limit him. And, and what a lot of teams do, they'll double him, you know, use a linebacker underneath, a safety over the top. Sometimes they'll just take a corner, maybe their third corner if he's a bigger guy, and put him on a man-to-man -to, -man to try and limit his touches. Just keep mixing it up, give him different angles, different looks, like a good boxer does. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams 35. Able to convert on third and 14, a terrific play call. Whenever we talk about moving the sticks and controlling the football, there's a great example right there. Those are the third downs you need to convert to win football games. We're in the third quarter of this one, and this is a tight one. 
in order to maintain pace, keep the ball away from the other team, and put points on the board. Those are the plays they need to continue to convert. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. From the 31, here's second down and five. They stay on the ground. Here's Connor again. And he'll get about three as he's brought down to the 28. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. The eighth play of the drive coming up. It's third and three. They'll try and run for it with Connor. And he gets the first down here as he's taken down at the 24. Four yards on the pickup, good enough to extend the drive. Well, this has been a long drive. In fact, it's eaten up a good chunk of the third quarter, which is precisely what you want when you're playing with the lead. You control the football, you control the clock, and impose your will on the defense. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Over the middle and into the hands of his receiver, Moore. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. Three quarters have come and gone. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. An ideal spot here to get a first down and try to run some more clock. And this is second and less than a yard. He's got his man. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. Zach Pascal, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Cardinals are able to build on to their fourth quarter lead. But that makes this a two-score ball game. And, you know, the way this thing has been going, Charles, two scores kind of feels like three or four scores. Yeah, that's a great observation. It's been a heck of a battle, hasn't it? And points have been at a premium throughout this game. So you have to wonder, is this going to be too much for them to overcome? After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The offense for Los Angeles returns to the field. And the script really is flipped for them. The momentum on the other sideline, and now they have to try and battle back from a two-score deficit. Stafford and the Rams come up first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. Now Stafford. Looking underneath, he's got Akers. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. Here's a second and nine now from the 29. Back to throw, Stafford. Open man, Higby, the tight end. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Well, every drive from here out is definitely crucial and critical. They know that they need to get at least three here to get it back to a one-score game. But I can't imagine that in their huddle that they're thinking at all about getting a field goal. They want to get into the end zone and then try and get the ball back again. Stafford on first down. Complete. Jefferson the target. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. 
That's good. The completion there for seven yards, and that'll make it second down. Timing is everything, and they work on this cut all the time. They work on all the timing patterns, and this time it paid off for them. Worked him to the center of the field, cut it to the outside, ball's delivered, gets both feet down for the completion. They'll get this one to Cup, complete. And Cup going to pick up a Rams first down as he'll take this down inside the 45. Here's first down. Stafford looks to throw again. And oh, that nearly their first pick of the game, but it falls down to the ground incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down. Second and 10, Stafford again. Throw left side, complete to Cup. to throw on third and one. Man open, it's Cup. he's got it. And they're gonna have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 20-yard line. That's the third time on this drive that these two have connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going, and right now, it's panned off with big chunks of yardage as shown by that last play. All three timeouts remain, but they've gotta score quick. It's first and 10. From the red zone now, Stafford. And this is caught at the eight. And the Rams are going to have a first and goal as he'll be taken down at the seven-yard line. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical. They've been crisp. And as a reward, they're going to be set up with an early first and goal. Now first and goal. Again, it's Stafford. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. You got a one-score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but... And now remember, all touchdowns are reviewed. And in a tight game like this, they're going to take a good, long look at it. Certainly some importance to this one now. After the touchdown, they could get this down to a field goal with a two-point conversion. Stafford now to throw. And this is caught. They got it. And that could be an important two points. It gets them back within a field goal. So still a little work to do here, but they got the much-needed conversion. So they got that taken care of. Now you would assume onside kick in order to try and get the ball back again, in order to try and kick at least a tying field goal. So with just over a minute to play, this becomes a make or break onside kick. Then the Cardinals hands team able to secure the football. The fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number, kind of like when the 
coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% <laughs> of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Well, the football back in the hands of the Arizona Cardinals. They've got the lead by three, late stages of the game. What's the message here? Just hang on to the football. Is it that simple? That's exactly right, because ball security is paramount. And you got a small cushion. A field goal can tie you, but you don't even think that way. Just take care of the ball, close out the game. Will they close it out? We're about to find out. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout their second as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. On third down, it's Connor. And the Cardinals are going to have a first down. And that's a big one, as they should be able to run it out from here. the Cardinals look to let the clock roll. Down to a knee one more time and that should just about do it. can't ask for much more than what we just had here. Not only a close game that went down to the wire, Charles, but a clean one, too. No turnovers in this contest. And I think you're exactly right about that. To me, this is just a pair of offenses trying to find the slightest bit of separation from each other, and they were both hoping that the other side would make the big mistake first. But today, neither side made that mistake. And what we got, a very entertaining game throughout. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. From Southern California, so long, everybody.